welcome to my vlog. Just what we need, another vlog in the YouTube world. I'm Crystal. I am a mom of three children, but we also live on a small farm. Thought that would be me. A different vlog. 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 As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, we will serve the Lord, idols raised, tear them down, cause we will serve the Lord, we will serve the Lord, to one King. Jackpot. You're just gonna hang out right there? <laughs> you crazy goat. So, first order of business on the farm before I do anything outside. I've got to call a couple local vets and I've got to call some shelters because over the weekend our cat went missing and she's gone off before because she's an outside cat. She still has her claws but she's been spayed and all that but um, she's gone off before and gone hunting but she's never stayed away this long so we're a little worried for her. We saw her Friday night. And, but come Saturday morning when we went out to greet her, she's usually right there, feed me, meow, voila. She wasn't there, so we, we kind of blew it off a little bit. Um, but we're really worried now because she never ever did show up. So um, it was over the weekend and the emergency vets and stuff, they were all closed. So I'm calling now, it's Monday morning. So I'm gonna call and find out if maybe by chance somebody um, caught her in a trap and they took her to the shelter or took her to a vet if she got hurt or maybe they you know accidentally hit her with a vehicle and they took her to a vet because she was still alive or, or whatnot. Um, my husband tried to go search for her and uh, he couldn't find her anywhere. Couldn't see her on the road or anything like that. And there's a house down at the end of our street that's vacant, but it's actually unlocked and open. Or not open, but it's unlocked. And by the chance that she might have gotten in, my husband even went down there and he called for her and she never, she never, uh, she never answered. <laughs> Getting text messages asking if we found her. So, um, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to call a couple places. So, have fun. I hope we find her. I have a question. Did y'all by chance get a, maybe a strayed injured cat on Saturday morning? Oh, okay. 
Okay, I'm just trying to, we're trying to find our cat in hopes that maybe somebody took her somewhere. Alright, thank you. Bye. Okay. No luck on that one either. Alright, I gotta keep calling. Okay. You did not. Okay. I'll just keep calling around and find out. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Bye. Here goes my fourth vet. It's only your third because I forgot to set the camera up to <laughs> record the first one, but it was still a no go, so here goes the fourth one. Okay. Alright, thank you. She wasn't there, so she's gonna check. was the last vet that was pretty close to us and I don't know if anybody would like drive really really far so on to the shelters I see it's not chance our cat got brought there Saturday morning. She went missing. We last saw her Friday night, so we didn't know if maybe somebody had caught her in a trap and, and took her um, Saturday morning, but if you could call me back, that'd be great. My well, I've tried calling a couple places, and nobody has a cat. Some people didn't even answer, so I had to leave messages. So we'll see if I get any calls back, and if she doesn't turn up, then... I'm afraid that like, she's either hurt somewhere and can't get back home, or it's taken her a while to get back home, or somebody trapped her and decided to keep her as like a barn cat, or a coyote got her, and I hope that's not it, but I just keep praying that she'll come back. I gotta go back outside right now, and I gotta go take care of the animals, so let's go feed the animals. They're all waiting for their food. All right, here we are, we're outside, we're getting ready to feed the chickens, and I gotta put the goats out in the back. We haven't put our fencing up yet, so I have to sh like leash them into the woods. <laughs> Every time I do that, I always feel like I'm on Jurassic Park and I'm leashing the goats up to get the T-Rex. <laughs> but, Audrey, you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me? You gonna be my little, uh, my helper, my dog feeder? Look at you posing. <laughs> and there's Jedediah, he's got a cricket inside the bag. And there's Whitaker, he's just happy to be outside. <laughs> Audrey, she usually helps me in feeding the animals, but I guess she's playing slacker today. But here is our deep freeze. We're not using it as an actual deep freeze just yet. Not until hunting season and my husband brings home a lot of meat. Um, but right now we're using it to keep all of our feed and dog food and all that stuff. So, here we go. Get the dog food. Scoop for the pugs. Yes, we have pugs. We have two pugs, males. They're pretty old. They're old guys. And we also have one puppy blue healer. She is hyper, so it's like a complete different contrast there. Um... We have three goats, one female, two males, and 18, 16, 17, 
I don't know. I've lost count. We've got a lot of chickens. But, anyways. This is for the pugs. Now I gotta get the, the puppy food. Like my measurements, my cups. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can grab them all. Hey, sweetie. Oh my goodness. I know, I know. You're ready to get off your leash. Let me put the food down. Valentine, you can't have dog food, and you know that. Wait, Libby. <laughs> Hold on. Sit. Hey. Sit. She's like, what? What? There's food there. You want me to do what? Libby, sit. Sit. I know you can do it. You're just being hyper right now. Good girl. Hey, you. I'm going to take you out back. You get to go eat all the bushes and trees and grass and ivy in the woods. Yes, she is. Hi. <laughs> hey, little dude. Okay, this is Jackpot. He's our big boy. He's our big boy. And there's Valentine. Hi, Valentine. Hey, little one. He is a polled goat, which means he genetically does not grow horns. So that's pretty awesome because then we don't have to worry about um, dehorning him or anything like that, which I really didn't want to do. Jackpot, he does have his horns. Yes, you do. And you sure know how to use them. You just don't use them on us. You just use them on everything else. The fencing and all that. Here's Shira. Watch out, Libby. Go eat your food. Hey, Shira. This is our female. <laughs> and Valentine is actually her kid, but we have to keep them separate because he is, uh, he is able to breed and we do not want... Mommy and son breeding. No, 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 no. We do not. Hi, Shaiwa. You got a caterpillar? Yeah. Well, let me see it. Oh, hi there, caterpillar. And you've got your cricket inside the little mermaid bag. Wow, you are all boy. Libby, come here. She's all done eating. Now she's getting... Really? You're getting wrapped up around me. I can't walk away. It's on my butt. All right, you can't get off until I'm done with the chickens. <laughs> All right, now I gotta go feed the other, the other, the other doggies. Okay, we gotta do some cleanup. We had a storm coming through and it blew everything over. It was crazy. Had lightning strike a tree out back. I'll film it. Tree is completely like split. You gonna help me? You gonna go feed? No! You're always help me! I just realized I don't have my rings on. <laughs> I forgot to grab my rings off the little shelf. Come on, Witty Wit! <laughs> He's like, wait, I was just up here. Look at all this grass that Daddy mowed. He mowed all of the tall, tall grass, and now I can rake it up and we've got hay. Yeah, and there's your puggies. Good morning, boys. Yes, they stay outside. They uh, they, they actually hate being inside. They whine and whine and whine and whine and whine and whine until I let them out. Here you go, sweetie. Here's the other cup. And you can give me that cup. All right, and the other bowl's right there. You're awesome, Audrey. You're such a good helper. <laughs> you guys actually take it to him. Thank you. <laughs> good job. Now it is time to check on the chickens. We currently have a run for them right here, but we want to extend it all the way down to there. And we bought our new fencing and stuff. Actually, all the fencing, where did I put it? Oh, it's over there. There's the fencing. And we do have more green tea posts. They are all stacked right there. Yes, I hauled all those over there. Hippie skippy. <laughs> those are called green tea posts over there by Livy and Shira. 
Anyways, and we're gonna extend their run. So they've got full run, because this used to be our garden. We have it sectioned off. We have th like th supposedly three levels. Upper level, middle level, and then we haven't finished our lower level. But uh, anyways, this is the chicken's run. We've been throwing wood chips in there for them to scratch and peck, and because the wood chips will bring in nice yummy beetles. But we ran out of wood chips, and they've scratched it all like crazy. But yeah, I think they are out of water. They are. They're out of water, and they're out of food. You had it yesterday, but it's gone today. Now this dude, he's a meanie, aren't you? You're mean. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hmm. He is mean. He will attack me. When I go in there, he does. He attacks me the whole entire way. And that's why I gotta make sure I have my boots on. See him? Look at that. You are so mean. But you know what? The good thing about him being mean? Possum got in one night. Right down here. It dug out a hole and it got up underneath there. And I bet it wished it hadn't. Because he kicked butt on it. And I came out here and there was blood everywhere. Blood! feathers there was like fur all down here and everything and he was missing a talon and I was like or a, a spur not a talon and uh, I was like that possum you know it was hurting when it left because he went crazy on it not a hen was lost he kicked butt on it so <sighs> but I gotta walk down there I gotta go fill up a bucket of water and I'll be right back do you want to come help me do you want to come scoop the food into the into the bucket for me? Here, I'll get a scoop, and then you can pour it in. Can you pour it in? Yeah. Can you pour it in? All right, let's keep filling it up. We got to go up to the tippy top. Whitaker's gonna grab it. Oh yeah. Now we gotta fill this one up with water. So let's go. Oh my garden. We started doing some weeding on it. It used to be so pretty until the goats got in and until Livy got in when she wasn't on the leash. They got in, they ate everything. They destroyed my garden. And we don't even have a vegetable garden this year. Or I should say we didn't have a vegetable garden this year because we did not have our fencing all finished out back. And uh, the goats were grazing in the front yard. You wanna click it in? There. The goats, here you can see me. The goats were grazing all in our front yard. And uh, they had access to our garden up there and all of our flower gardens here and they ate it all. I mean, they went so far as to eating our crepe myrtle trees. In fact, the crepe myrtle out back, jackpot, he destroyed it. He pushed it over and just decimated it. See it? He went to town on that one. And I was really sad because we were going to extend our porch all the way out to the side of the house and have it go around the crepe myrtle and that didn't happen, but... What you doing? <laughs> you watching what I'm doing? Like what you filming, Mom? So, anyways, gotta check the bucket and see if it's filled up with water. Oh yeah, that's full. Oh, that's gonna be wonderful for Mommy to carry. Here we go. I get to carry this. This is gonna be fun. Heavy, heavy. I'm gonna take the take the um, hose out for me so I can pick up the bucket and I gotta carry it up to the chickens. It's heavy. It, yeah. This. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh god, it's heavy. Woo! And I just poured it down into my boot. Look. Yes. Oh. <sighs> gotta love living on a farm. Normally I don't fill it up this full, but. I wasn't paying attention. Whew, I'm 
huffing and puffing. That's a hard walk to carry that five gallon bucket of water filled up, plus the feed bucket filled up. I have to go up a hill, guys. There's my children down there. It's hard work. Okay, um, I'm gonna set the camera up so you can watch what I have to do. Look at this. Look at that. Hi, garden spider. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm coming in. It's a little icky in here. It's a little icky in here. How am I going to do this while holding on to the camera? <laughs> I didn't think this one through. You know what? We're going to lift it and pour it. Here we go. Om noms the food. Om noms the food. <laughs> and I like to give it a little spin so it spins it all out. There you go. All right. Let's get on out without getting any spiders on me. Whew. All right. This food. I'm going to put this up here, guys. Okay, now, what, Witty Wit? You want mama? You're trying. You're trying, you're doing a good job. Poor thing. Okay, disaster averted. Baby is down in the carport now. He was trying to climb up here, as you could see, and he made it up, but then he fell over and scraped his face, and oh, all is well, though. Now it's time to give the chickens water. You need some water. I think y'all want water. You want some water? Yeah, I guess you deserve water, don't you? <laughs> Alrighty. Dump out the old water. I'll give you some fresh water. Please don't try climbing up here, kid. <laughs> Look at that water. Oh, does it make you thirsty? <laughs> Hold on, sweetie. I know, I got an old bucket there that we put water in when I can't make it out here for whatever reason. The kids are acting up and I can't get out here or something. Okay. Now, lens cap. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Here we go. I'm bringing it to you. Hi. Gotta hang it on to that hook right there. A little hard to do when you're holding a camera. And my child is trying to come back up here again. <sighs> my work is a little bit harder than normal because I do have children. And especially a baby that wants to be with me 24-7. He's 
she's gonna try to climb it up here, so I'm gonna have to go back down there again. He's gotta be in mommy's arms. He just has to be in mommy's arms. <laughs> mommy's chores take twice as long, but he just has to be in my arms. Set this right here. See, scrape. These curls. Look at these curls. <laughs> He's got his daddy's curls. I love you, son. But I really need to finish my chores. <laughs> I want you guys to see how threatening he is. Whew. Hi. <laughs> Are you gonna actually run away? Oh, is it because I have the camera? You're afraid of the camera? The smallest little thing you're afraid of. I have to put a screen on top of theirs because a hen goes inside and she like lays her eggs in there. I'm keeping an eye on him because he'll come after me. I don't trust him. I'm gonna give it a little spinny spin. Right. Yeah, I hear you, dude. I'm gonna back out slowly. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep this door shut. He has been known to attack me while, I, uh, while I've gotten them water before. All right, I gotta put the camera down. I can't do this. I can't open this up because I need both hands. This one's a little different. This is a plastic one. Our other metal one rusted out. I hear you yelling at me, trying to get me to go away. If I go away, you get no water and you die. goats out back right now because it's wanting to rain so I'm gonna let them stay in the barnyard and in the backyard until I know for sure if it's gonna rain or not <coughs> now I have to touch the camera with poopy chicken hands yay the joys of a farm poopy chicken hands really dog you gonna go through that way come on what? You went through and now you... Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Come on. Come on. Do you want off the leash or not? Ready? Set. Run! And she's off. <laughs> she is... How do I get, always get tangled? She is 100% puppy and healer. She is hyper... Hyper... Run! <laughs> we keep her leashed up at night. Just, uh... Just because we know that healers generally um, will, they'll traffic the yard, they'll, like, they'll search it at, during the night to, you know, keep out predators and stuff, which is fine. But she's still too young, I feel, so I kind of want to keep her um, up to the front and keep her safe. Then as she gets older, because she's not even a year yet, she's eating what's spilled on the ground. As she gets older, when she um, is bigger and can really handle a predator, 
um, I'll let her do that. I'll let her patrol. That's the word I was looking for. Patrol the yard because then it'll help protect our, our goats. But I am going back inside because my son, he would not stop coming up to the chickens. And I put him inside and he's like crying his head off. So inside we go. This is going to be my chill time. I'm going to finish my coffee and hang out and cool off. And then it'll be time for house chores. Oh, today's diaper day. That's fun. Okay, we are back outside. We've cooled off. And, oh, oh, and no. uh, baby's okay. Livy's still off attacking. But I came out because I want to check the mail. What's that? I don't know, Jedi. What is it? Let's wait and see. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a truck. A truck's going by. It's the, oh, it's the Sony. That's the, um, that's our electricity people. I don't know how to explain it to you. <laughs> they probably were cutting all the trees and branches that happened after the storm. They're probably chipping them all up and everything. So, but I'm going to go check the mail because I've been waiting on some packages and I hope that they're here. I'm so excited. But um, I'm going to put Whitaker down. Hopefully he doesn't scream too much. Well, I hope the mail comes. The mail. I'm excited. Oh, look. Mail. It hasn't come yet. He just drove by. So let's oh. wait. Hey, hey, that was perfect timing, though. Uh -huh. Okay, we're back outside, and I got the frisbee. <laughs> that girl loves a frisbee. Uh -huh. Oh, you tripped. <laughs> come on. Let's get it. Ready? You ready? You want it? You want the Frisbee? Go get it! <laughs> oh, she just ran right into my leg. Ready? You ready? You ready? You gotta get off of it. Oh my gosh, my flip-flop just broke. Ah! No kidding, y'all. Flip-flop broke. What? What? Oh, nuts. <laughs> oh, no. I'm about to go put my shoes on. Hey, let me pick it up so I can throw it for you. <laughs> oh, it hit the fence. It actually hit the fence. She got distracted. What was that distraction for? Like, who was that? Oh, hi, Witty Wit. My poor baby. My poor baby got a boo boo. He's all good. Huh. Are you already tired? I gotta go put the goats out back. They are like begging me to put them out back. Get the frisbee. Good girl. No, go get it. I can't walk in my broken flip-flop. <laughs> I'm like trying to... <laughs> I have to walk funky. Okay, you ready? You ready? What the frisbee? Where? What spider web? Is there a spider web in Dad's truck? Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. It is a spider web. I don't know if I can see it on the camera. Kind of. It's a big one. That's pretty cool. It's a big one. Do you think it was an orb weaver? Yeah. Where do you think the orb weaver's at? I bet it's hiding up inside somewhere. Up inside? Yeah. I think it's right there. Um, no, that is, oh, that is it. You're right. That is the orb weaver. Let me see the orb weaver on the camera. Well, look inside, look. See? There it is. It's have a leaf. He's dead. Oh, it went out of focus. It doesn't know what I want it to, <laughs> it He's doesn't know dead. what I want it to focus on. 
He's dead. No, it's not dead. It's just hanging out, hiding. He's That's pretty alive? cool. Alrighty, here we go. It's time to take care of the goats. Come on, jackpot. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> He's just looking at me. All right, I've got to go get the rope untangled from out in the woods because he got himself kind of wrapped up pretty good yesterday. So, here we go. You gonna go with me? See, he got himself wrapped up pretty bad over here. <laughs> and it's like, what were you thinking, dude? You were just like, dur, dur, dur. I'm gonna wrap myself around this tree about five or six times, just for the fun of it. And then I'm gonna wrap myself around this tree, cause you know, it's not complete if you don't wrap yourself around the tree a couple times. I'm just gonna pull it this way. Let's see if we can just get him to come. Now I sound like Jackie Chan off of Shanghai Noon. inside. Come on. Come on, Jackpot. Alright, I'll just stay right there. I'm gonna get him. There he goes. He's gonna go eat. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Uh, let's go let Shira out back. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Watch your footing. <laughs> Mommy's gonna climb the fence because <laughs> I don't feel like walking around. So let's go climb. We'll climb the gate. That way you can climb it too. Watch out for the holes in the ground. Got some random holes on the ground. I'm thinking, see there's one right there. I'm thinking like groundhog or something. I don't know. There's Shira. She's Hi, like, you gonna let me Shira. out? <laughs> hey Shira. Hey girly girl. You gonna climb the fence too, Audrey? Okay, I'm gonna climb it too. I'm just spider. <laughs> I'm gonna hook this on my neck. There's Livy. Country girls climbing fences. Country girls climbing fences. Here we go again. Whew, I'm tired. I had to get the dog out because she wouldn't leave Shira alone. <sighs> Come on, Shira. Come on, girl. Now you got your leash really tangled. So I'm going to hook you up right here and get you untangled. You did a good job, Shire. Around 
I'm not trying to pull you, Stella. I'm trying to get you free. And Whitaker's still screaming his head off over there. Keep pulling, Sire. Keep pulling. You're getting untangled. Come on, girl. Oh. Keep pulling. There we go. Yeah. Alright. I don't want her going down that far. Because I don't want Jackpot to get to her right now. It's not time to breed yet. I am gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until she can kid in April. Because I do not want to deal with more winter babies. We had winter babies and we lost two of them because we had piles and piles of snow out here. It was really bad. So let me put her water out here. Whew. I'm gonna put her water here. Oh, it's leaning there. Right here. Alright. <sighs> Enjoy Shira. I gotta go get wit. He's screaming his head off. But at least I got the goats out. And it's time to go back inside and rest again. Why I don't have a normal exercise routine because my daily life is all exercise. I climb fences, I wrestle goats, I wrestle dogs, I carry children, I lug five gallon buckets filled with water and food. I get a workout daily. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Baby's asleep. Guess what time it is? Laundry time! Yep, yeah. not just any laundry. I gotta empty the dishwasher. Dishwasher. I swear, it's only like one o'clock and I'm already like lost my brains. The empty the washing machine and I get to wash diapers. That's right, on top of the farm and three kids, we cloth the diaper. Yay! So that is what I get to do today. So, I have to empty, load, load, all kinds of stuff. These cloth diapers, they're called pocket diapers, which means they obviously have a pocket with a waterproof inside. I have to take inserts that are microfiber. We actually have a microfiber, but there's other kinds that you can get. I have to take them out and drop them in and then drop the, the diaper in. Not so bad when it's just a peed diaper. When you get a poop diaper, that's where the fun begins. Most of the time, I rinse all the poop diapers out. But sometimes, if I'm really busy, I don't get that luxury to do that. And that means I have to do them now. Oh. We have a poopy one. I'll spare you. That white. That's all the way. I'll go rinse that one later. We have a lot of diapers. I've been cloth diapering for four and a half years now. So
so we accumulated a lot of diapers because we have three children. My son and daughter are out of diapers except for nighttime. They still have to wear them at night because we haven't quite controlled that yet. Jedediah is doing a lot better. He doesn't wear them every single night. So as long as I have a light in the hallway where he gets up in the middle of the night and he can see and he's not scared, then he'll wake up and he'll go potty. So. You know what's not fun? Getting scorpions in the diaper. Oh yes, I said scorpion. My hamper has uh, holes in it and they'll crawl like right in there and they'll mess up inside the diapers. I guess looking for moisture. And, oh, I don't actually have to rinse that one. Sweet. It was a, not a, not a chunky one. So, um, now I gotta wash my hands because I am not touching the camera with messy hands. I just ran into the refrigerator. Well, I guess now it is time for me to go eat my lunch because my children have eaten. I did not eat because I was laying down the baby for nap. He's asleep now. I got the laundry in. I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. <sighs> Relax time. They're very rare, but I actually have one right now. The kids are watching My Little Pony, and it's my lunchtime. So I am having, wait for it, a salad! Yay! <laughs> and some sweet cake. Don't be thinking that I'm a vegetarian because I, I can't even say the word of a vegetarian. It's not even in my vocabulary. No, I love me some vegetables, but believe me, I can put down some yummy meat. Um, like I mentioned earlier, my husband hunts. Last year he got two deer. This year we're hoping for some more. And uh, oh, the best part about my lunch. <laughs> this is the best part. No bake cookies. And yes, I am totally having two. Huh. If I'm gonna have a salad, I'm gonna at least make it up, make up for the protein in my peanut butter and my yummy antioxidants in my chocolate. Anyways, I'm about to eat, so toodles. <laughs> you gotta get it out of the grass. Let's put what he went down. Woo, stand up, buddy. It's under, you gotta go get it. It went under. No, I know, you gotta get it. All right, here. The reason why it wasn't working is because you got too far from it. There. It doesn't go as fast as the other one. Probably not gonna go up the hill, dude. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Livy's like, I want it. I want that car. I want it. <laughs> oh, she's gonna freak it out. Whoa! Whitaker's like, I got this. <laughs> Hold on, Audrey. <laughs> Let me turn it. Okay, go. Oh, you're going backwards, Jedi. Put it down, Witty Wit. Oh, I know. Oh, the battery. All right. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you coming with me? We're going to bring Shira back in? Come on. Let's go. 
Oh, I got a text message. Oh, I was talking about the tree that um, got struck by lightning earlier. And I said I was going to film it, but I didn't. But there is the tree. It was a really big tree. And we weren't totally sure if it did get hit by lightning. But uh, we walked out to it and yeah, we found the strike spot. It was all charred and burnt and all kinds of messed up. Come on, Witty Wit. Come on. Stop coming. Come here. Don't pick you up. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Go down here. We gotta get Shira. There she is. Hey, girl. You ready to come back in? You went and got yourself tangled, didn't you? Yep. All right. Down you go, Wit. Time to go get Shira. Hey girl. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna unhook you and bring you in. Hey sweetie. Hey sweetie. Hey sweetie. Let's go ahead and unhook you. Come on. We're coming. We're coming. All right, and they're still playing with their cars. Libby, that girl. Oh my goodness! All righty, I had to do it this way because Whitaker decided to come with me. He's having a crying fit if I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> If I don't take him with me, so just set the camera up. <sighs> Look at you got yourself all wrapped up. I can take you. Get your butt on in there. Go. Oof. I'm grabbing the camera. Grabbing the camera. Not grabbing the chain. All right. But we are done. Well, no, I'm not done. I gotta go get little Valentine now. Yay. Now I have a set on the car. Because I still have him in my arms, but this is how I have to get Valentine. He will not go willingly. I have to physically pick him up. Even if I let Livy off to try to, to herd him, nah. He just runs in circles. Yeah, it's not fun. I'm going to have to put you down. You got a mosquito bite on your cheek. All right, I'm going to get Valentine. I'm going to have to put you down. You pee on yourself. Hey. Hi. You're cuddly. And my outside day is done. I got lots to do on the inside. Oh, I forgot to show. Come here. 
so I did diapers. I had to get them washed and rinsed and rinsed and rinsed. And then we got to hang them on the fence. <laughs> we hang them on the fence so the sun can remove any stains and just bleach them out and, and uh, disinfect them and dry them. So that's, uh, now I got to go wash my hands and go gather all them and bring them inside. Well, I'm back in. I have changed my clothes. I no longer stink like a goat. Sort of. I didn't shower, so I still smell like a goat. Um, but it's dinner time. That's what I'm about to do. My husband's still working. And the little one's asleep. And my oldest one is laying in bed. He says he's tired, so he's laying back there. And my middle one is playing in the bathroom with her toys. She's an oddball. So I'm about to cook dinner. And tonight is going to be stir fried rice. I've got zero rice in here. And some chicken, which is defrosting. Well, yeah, you can't see it. It's defrosting in there. And uh, so we're gonna have stir fried rice and chicken. And it's gonna be good. And uh, that is it for the day. So that's what I do pretty much on a daily basis. Peace out, y'all.